Hey, my name is Marco. I'm a pro opera singer turned voice actor, and I love talking about and analyzing video game music from an emotional perspective. And today we are listening to The Lord of Frenzied Flame by Shoi Miyazawa from Elden Ring Shadow of the Air Tree. Let's do it. Yeah. Just climbing. Oof. Oh. Oh my god. Is that throat singing? So this is by far my most favorite track that I've listened to from this OST so far. And the reason why I say that is because we start off with, obviously with that chant. There's a little bit of throat singing in the background, which is really exciting. But then also uh, there's just like no sense of like forward direction. And what I mean by that is that we, we do move forward, but there's, there's almost like no, there's no almost rhythmic impetus. It, it feels like it's sort of like, maybe there's a rhythm maybe there's not it really feels like i'm looking at the face and i haven't seen what the lord of frenzy flame looks like i'm assuming there's flames and stuff but what i really am seeing is almost like like a character like with their skin peeling off like almost like this like sort of like really this disfiguration you hear it in the music here around um around 30 seconds in i think that crunch down there and then the cello represents them and, and that 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 choral thing just like just gross right i love that that's very very much what i'm looking for and what makes the soundtrack stand out to me and makes it really appealing uh, is when it really defies what I expect. You think the Lord of Frenzy Flame is going to be the, such a heavy and powerful piece. And instead we get this like, you know what I mean? Like it's cool. Even silence. Wow, that's all over the place. Those strings are like asking a question. That's so cool. Those strings sound like they're asking a question. Boom, 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 boom. What's going on here? Nice. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Oh my god. The distant strings. Like, da, 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 da. Now the flames bubble up. It sounds like a slowed down night on Bald Mountain.
tension in the strings. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my god, it almost feels like we stumble on this thing and it's like, Who dare disturb my slumber? You know what I mean? Like, there's a, a real, like, first of all, everything is so low that there's a real size about it. It almost reminds me of... Uh, of the, from Dark Souls One, the giant uh, flame thing in the uh, yeah, I can't remember the name, but but uh, right before the curse rod, uh, no, right before the um, you know the terrible fight. Uh, yeah. Anyway, there's such a, a a low like oh man, that's like oppressive. It really feels like it's trying to like like eat you whole, um, and that and there's there's no running away from it, and that it's it's massive, and it has this. This almost like, it's like the biggest dragon you could ever possibly fathom. Or it's like a giant, a giant man that is literally just on fire, like 30 feet tall. That it's just like throwing fireballs at you. But it's also like disturbed and frustrated that you're there. It's, it's so interesting. Wow. Wow. So heavy and the da, 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 da. Da, uh, nice crescendi. It's like an ebb and flow, it's like a wave. Da, 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 da. Oh dissonance there in the top of upper violin. It's not good. You don't want to you don't want to see this. Oh my god, the dissonance with that lower brass. That's brutal. Yeah, there's, first of all, harpsichord in the background. I'm really getting like this is the final boss. I don't think it is, but what I'm really hearing is a, a sort of decay and also like a, like um, the org the harpsichord is nice in here because it also showcases uh, an, an age and an, uh, an old quality to it, which is very common. Uh, the harpsichord is used very often to describe this, but there's really like this, almost like this, this um, just decay and like, peeling pieces of like slow lumbering movement but like it also like a a reverence for it but but not because it's holy or religious but because it's like the antichrist like something terrifying right like really 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 like deformed uh wow that's powerful especially with this heavy boom, right there Oh, that is so crunchy. Da, 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 da. That's high. Harpsichord in there is so sneaky. Oh 
oh my god the dying out with there with the tenors I think that might be my favorite track from the Shadow of the Oak Tree DLC, if I tell you the truth, because there's um there's a real sense of of slow methodical brutality of a deformed being that almost like it's been awakened and it's just full of rage. But the rage is really like below the surface, like like an ancient rage, or it's like it's like been it was like in the middle of a battle and it was put down and then it's been resuscitated and revived and there's like a an inherent sense of of danger in it because it can't be used for good. It can't be used as a tool. It is an independent being that is angry and and agitated. But but it's also but it's not like ferocious or fast. It's like slow plotting deliberate and it really does get this essence of like who dares disturb my slumber i am going to end you and it's like his face is like peeling off or something you know what i mean like that's that's the incredible thing about this uh, there's so, especially with the heavy brass especially with the slow plotting movement especially with the tenors and the dying off sound quality too which is very it's just very like heavy and uh, that's why I assume he's like a thousand feet tall because it's just heavy. There's no elegance here. It's not elegant. It's very, there's like a guttural brutality that comes through in that, which is really, really impressive. That actually, actually may be one of my favorite from soft pieces. If I, you know, not even recency bias, but when I heard that, I almost got some semblance of Ludwig the Holy Blade, obviously less intense and less maybe polished, but certainly, and, and definitely less tight. Uh, but this felt very wide, if that makes sense. And very, be because of the way that it's, it's written, there's a sense of length in it that is, is just, it's very, um, it's a guttural primal reaction to it that to like, Oh my God, like, look at this thing. You, you want to be careful of this thing. This thing, this thing is, is, is bro it's broken and angry and it, it like almost can't like it's almost been chained up and it's like just ready to rip those chains off and it almost can't if that makes sense i have no idea if you like the sort of stuff there's more elden ring on the channel feel free to like subscribe and as always i'll see you later bye